So here's a quick update on the open CW keyer. Um, it isn't going as well as we thought. So I've got it connected up right now. And the good news is that I can key, we're on the dummy load. And if I send some Vs, you can hear, we have a side tone, we're keying, things are going well. Except that the internal resistance of the key um, closing transistor, I think it, it's a, actually an opto isolator, seems to be too high or something else is wrong because it only keys and makes about one watt of output. And if you remember the NorCal 40B, the keying circuit actually is the emitter lead of the driver. So apparently putting a resistor in what would normally be a short from tip to ground or tip to shell would key the driver. But in this case, it keys it. It's much like having a sort of a drive control in there. It's turning the drive down to like one watt. Um, so I'm not sure exactly what it is. I'm wondering if there's enough of a ground because an opto isolator, I'm assuming they grounded the, the case of the jack to the housing, but I'm not sure about that yet. So maybe there isn't enough of a ground path. Um, I'll zoom a little for you so you can see that, but you can see the path is through the tip here through the collector, out the emitter, and then we don't really show ground anywhere here. We do show the uh, the shield part of the cable as the closure, so that should be ground. Um, and then, again, back to our picture, it shouldn't take much to make, uh, to make keying work. And I'll show you, if I pull out the key from the keyer, and I plug in the straight key, I key that. The watt meter is just above me on the bench and it says about two and a half watts. So <clears throat> that's not right, <laughs> although I don't know what it is yet. So if you look at those pictures, so we know the keying circuit and we know the transmit key line comes through an opto isolator, the TLP627. That looks like the right part. I looked it up, it's got a nice high emitter collector uh, breakdown voltage, and it should be just an NPN transistor, but that doesn't seem to be it. So tell me what you think. I'm gonna pull the case open, and the first thing I'll check, I think, is the key line uh, during transmit to see what the voltage looks like on the transistor when it's closed. But that's what I've got for you now, is mostly working, but uh, not working the way we want. So. Let me know what you think and we'll see if we can get this thing fixed because I think more people than I want this to work. The other, uh, what do you say, the one thing to wonder about is some people complain that because I'm buying the AliExpress version, the code may not be the same code that we get from the OpenCW project. So there is a chance that I'll have to either reprogram the Arduino or possibly replace it because they said some of the Chinese vendors actually lock the uh, Arduino to keep it from being programmed. And I'm not sure why that would be. But anyway, those are the uh, pieces of data we have. So let me know what you think and we'll see if we can fix it.